Okay, hey everybody. This is an 11 by 14 canvas and I'm going to pour with black, a rusty brown, copper, gold, that's not gold, coral, gold, and red, I think that'll be it. So I need, I don't know, maybe seven, six or seven ounces of paint. So I think what I'll do, start, everything is mixed one to one with Floetrol. They're mixed brands, so I don't have any particular brand. This is all just mixed brands. And then I have one drop of OGX coconut milk anti-breakage hair serum which the first ingredient is dimethicone and that's what you need to look for. You can't use just any coconut milk product. So I'm going to do a dirty pour. Start with some black. Now I'm going to pour up high and go deep on the gold. Copper. Coral, brown, red. I do have a little bit of orange. I'll just throw that orange in there. I'll go back to more black. I do want black to kind of come out predominantly, so that's why I'm using a lot of black. Typically I don't, but I am wanting kind of a deep colored pour. It, that didn't drop in. I wanted it to drop in, so I'll try to pour down into it. Okay, that's more than plenty of color for this canvas. So typically I flip it over, but I think I'm going to toss it out today. The key is not to toss it off your canvas. And it has OGX in it, which if you just give it time, it will grow. I do just pop cells, air bubbles, not cells. But while I let this sit for a minute, again, my colors are all different brands and they're mixed one to one with Floetrol and then I add water depending on whether it's a tube paint or a craft bottle paint. The craft bottle paints don't need water added but the tube paint does because they're thicker. And then I, after I've got it totally mixed to the perfect consistency of like melted ice cream, then I add a drop of OGX in, stir it in a few times and let it be. And that will allow the cells to grow. So. I wanted to make you aware that you don't have to heat your pour in order for it to sell up. I'm basically just trying to get this to go over my canvas. without tilting off too much. I'm going to get a get a palette knife and 
try to scoop up some of my paint because I slung it. So I'm just putting some paint on the canvas just to help it so I can stretch it as far as possible without changing the look of the, the pour too much. So that's pretty well covered on that corner. Now I'm going to tilt this way just a little bit. didn't want to stretch it out that much. Now that is pretty cool. I think I am good. This color combination is not my typical thing, but I'm loving, I'm loving this one. I didn't think I would. But I really do. Uh, this is definitely a keeper. So I hope you enjoyed that one. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my videos. Click on the bell at the bottom right if you want to get notifications when I post new videos. Check out all the links below and I will see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.